गुड मॉर्निंग मनाल माय नेम इज सचिन कोर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ साइंस दैट इज पीरियोडिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस लेसन यू हैव टू नो सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट और टर्म्स इन दिस चैप्टर व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑन द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ एग्जाम एटॉमिक नंबर atomic mass number electronic configuration and valency so we have to know what is meant by atomic number atomic mass number electronic configuration and valency and valency so before learning this we have to just know what is the meaning of periodic classification of elements the periodic word coming from periodicity this word coming from periodicity periodicity means what when the elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic number after interval they shows the similar properties after interval their properties repeat and that's why it is known as periodicity of the properties I repeat again when elements arrange in the increasing order of their atomic number the properties of the elements repeats after interval this is known as periodicity of the properties and what is meant by elements it's very simple what is meant by elements the pure substance which is made up of similar kinds of atom what is meant by elements the pure substance or matter pure substance or matter made up of made up of only one kind of atom only one kind of atom it is known as it is known as elements known as element so dear student element is nothing but the matter or a pure substance which is made up of only one kind of atom it is known as elements elements further made up of matter elements is made up of matter okay so do you know what exactly means the matter matter is nothing but the anything around us which we can perceive by our sense organ is known as matter so matter is nothing but anything around us which we can perceive by our sense organ is called matter matter having the two important properties what are these two important properties it occupy it occupy space to occupy space and it having mass and volume it having mass and volume so matter okay matter having the two characteristics it occupy the space and it having the specific mass and volume and the elements is made up of matter so tell me how many elements are exist till the day so 118 elements are exist 118 elements are exist till the day so in this chapter we will deal with how the elements are classified so there were four systems of classification given in this chapters these systems gives the classification of elements first Dobereiner triads. Second, Newland's octaves. Third, the Mendeleev's periodic table, and fourth, the modern periodic table, which were given by Henry Moseley. So, dear student, in this chapter, we will deal with the four systems of classification. The first system given by the John Wolfgang Dobereiner. and the name of the system or the classification system is known as triad second one 
द सिस्टम गिवन बाय द न्यूलैंड जॉन न्यूलैंड एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस सिस्टम इज ऑक्टेव्स इज ऑक्टेव लेटर ऑन द दिमित्री मेटलियस वाज अ रशियन साइंटिस्ट हु पुट फॉर द क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द पीरियोडिक टेबल एंड कॉल मेटलियस पीरियोडिक टेबल and today what we use the system of hendrick mostly call modern periodic table but we see it one by one okay so before that we have to know what is mean by atomic number so what is mean by atomic number before that tell me that what exactly means atom atom is nothing but the smallest particle of any matter the smallest particle of any matter is nothing but the atom okay so do you know the structure of atom atom is a spherical atom is a spherical the center of the atom is nothing but the nucleus so in the center of the atom there is a massive structure called the nucleus called the nucleus and around the nucleus there is a empty orbits there is a orbits which in which the electrons are revolved so in a simple way i draw this structure what is atom the smallest particle of matter is called atom in the center of atom there is a massive structure called the nucleus and around the nucleus there is a orbits that we also call shell so in this orbits the electrons are continuously revolved electrons are continuously revolved so the atom consists of three fundamental particles three fundamental particles what are they the fundamental particles of matter are fundamental particles of sorry atom there are three fundamental particles what are they first one proton electron and neutron so there are three fundamental particles of atom the proton and neutron are present inside the nucleus the proton and neutron present inside the nucleus so this proton and neutron present inside the nucleus proton having the positive charge and neutron having the no charge proton having positive charge and neutron is a neutral having no charge while the negatively charged electron are revolved around the nucleus in a specific orbit so there are three fundamental particles of atom which is nothing but proton electron neutron out of which the proton and neutron is called nucleons as they are present inside the nucleus proton and neutron present inside the nucleus they are also called nucleons also called nucleons and electrons are freely revolved around the nucleus proton having the positive charge neutron having the no charge it's neutral and electron are negatively charged okay okay so this is the structure of atom this is structure of atom so what is the structure of atom it's very simple atom consists of centrally placed nucleus inside the nucleus there is a proton and neutron together proton and neutron is called nucleons proton having the positive charge proton having the positive charge and neutron having the no charge neutron is neutral having no charge these are present inside the nucleus and around the nucleus 
there is a orbit and in that orbit the electrons revolve electrons revolve electron having the negative charge electron having the negative charge okay so this is the structure of atom these are the three fundamental particles of atom what are they proton neutron electron proton neutron electron okay so my question is that so mean what is the atomic number if this is the structure of atom then what do we call the atomic number so in any atom the total number of proton is called its atomic number and it is denoted by the letter z so atomic number means the total number of proton present inside the nucleus of an atom is known as atomic number remember that in any atom the number of protons and extra nuclear electrons are same in any atom the total number of protons and extra nuclear electrons are same so what is meant by atomic number the total number of protons present inside the nucleus of an atom is called atomic number and it is denoted by the capital letter z okay for example the atomic number of oxygen is a oxygen is so i write z is equals to 8 so z is equals to 8 is the atomic number of oxygen atomic number of oxygen second what exactly means the atomic mass number what exactly is the atomic mass number it is also called atomic mass it is also called atomic weight but these are the old names these are the old names atomic weight atomic mass are the old names that not currently used but now today we use or recently we use atomic mass number what exactly is the atomic mass number the total number of protons and the total number of neutrons present in any nucleus it is known as atomic mass number the sum of total number of protons and neutrons in any atom is known as atomic mass number in a simple way we can say that in a simple way we can say that the total number of protons plus neutron in any atom is nothing but the atomic mass number atomic mass number simply p plus n is equals to a a is atomic mass number atomic mass number so atomic number means total number of only proton present inside the nucleus and atomic mass number means the total number of proton and neutron neutron okay so atomic mass number take example oxygen having eight proton and eight neutron oxygen having eight proton and eight neutron so its atomic mass number is 16 so the atomic mass number of oxygen is 16 Is 16. So o, a is equals to 16. But atomic number of oxygen is 8, and atomic mass number is 16. Okay, okay. Are you getting atomic number and atomic mass number? Thank you.